Hello, and welcome to an episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fix-It. Now, again, I know this is... Y'all probably get tired of looking at my desktop uh, when I did Windows Vista and Windows XP's performance and boost uh, performance increase. Uh, this one here is a little different. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a new uh, software that was introduced to me, and I'm going to introduce you to you uh, it's a nice software I've checked this out uh, I haven't had a lot of time to get all of it but I won't be able to do all the tutorials in this program in this video because there's a lot of features this software provides um, the website is uh, www.extend-partition.com and it will bring you to this uh, website here. Uh, the program is written by AOMEI uh, Technology. Uh, this is uh, partitioning software. Now, I'm being told that they are going to have a new software coming out later this month. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that software as well. Uh, I think it's a backup software that... Uh, they're going to be coming out with later this month. Uh, what you need to do is scroll down. I mean, you can read the website. It shows you all the features that they have. And it's got some really good uh, features that I like, that I believe you will like too, uh, especially if you're going to be upgrading computers and stuff. Uh, this one here, uh, we're going to download the part uh, Partition Assistant Home Edition is the name of the software and as you can see where I've got the cursor it's a freeware meaning that there's no purchasing uh, it's completely free uh, they do have other software such as servers uh, for enterprise uh, even for technicians and stuff but we're going to talk about the home version because a lot of our subscribers and viewers are just you know home users so let me give you an idea of all the stuff uh, that uh, this program offers. Uh, you can go to the website, click download, and then scroll down. Now the ver current version is 5.1, and as you can see it's very small. And you do get a full license version. Uh, it's available for Windows PE, Windows 8, Windows 7, Vista, XP and Windows 2000 Professional and it's available in both the 32-bit and the 64-bit versions. Now it does support seven languages and as you can see there are others that you can try uh, for the servers and stuff and just click the free download to download the software and install it. Now, here's the program that I have currently running and stuff. Now, if you look at the top left-hand column or corner up there in the blue bar, you will see that it's called Partition Assistant Home Edition. And it is free for private and commercial use. Now, if you look to the left column, you'll notice it's got wizards. It also has it's got uh, disk copy wizards. It's got partition copies. You can migrate the operating system. It's even got a partition recovery wizard. So in the event you delete a partition, you can actually try to attempt recover it. Now, it's not guaranteed because it depends on whether or not information has been rewritten in the area where the partition used to be. The more recently it was deleted, the better chance you had to recover it. Uh, it's even got a make bootable CD wizard. This comes in handy because what happens is it's got this feature called the Rebuild MBR. Now, all operating systems with Windows 
uses the master boot record. This is referring to the uh, section of the hard drive that stores all the information to get your PC to start. Now, there might be a time, and I'm sure some of you have experienced this, to where you have a missing or corrupted MBR, which is a master boot record. This software will repair the damage and try and correct it. Uh, I'll click on it, and it'll say what type of operating system you're using. If you're using Windows Vista, XP, 7, or 8. And it will automatically correct or uh, fix whatever the problem is. Rewrite the code. Now, it also has to where you can wipe an entire hard drive if you want to delete it. Trash, can't, trash it. You can wipe out all the data. Like right here. We can wipe the hard drive. Now, you can tell it how many times you want to do it. Most of the times, you can do it about seven times. And this will help completely erase any kind of data that's on the drive. Uh, you can also delete partitions if you want. Uh, you can do disk copies. Copy the entire disk. You can copy a single partition. Like here, if you wanted to. I can just copy that one partition. And that's it. Uh, you can extend a partition. If you have a partition that's got very little free space on it, you can extend it onto another drive to ex give your partition more free space to use. Now, up here, you'll notice it should list all your drives. You have your uh, disk 1, disk 2, and so on. This will not work on optical drives. It will only work on the traditional hard disk drives and the new solid state drives. Uh, it lists all your disk drives that's connected. The disk refers to the physical drive. Uh, each listing underneath refers to the partitions. You can have up to four partitions per drive using the MBR. Now this will work up to two terabytes and it will work on a GPT format which I'm not that uh, familiar with but it is used for drives that's larger than two terabytes but the problem is Windows doesn't understand uh, that type of format. Now, as you can see here, it gives you the information of the drive, uh, the label, the filing system it's using, uh, the capacity of the drive, how much space is being used, how much space is free on it, uh, if it's a primary or a logical. Uh, the primary means that the partition is bootable. It means that's what's used to boot up your uh, PC. Logical means that it's only used to store data. That's it. As you can see towards the bottom, you can see how uh, this one here is green and how these are green. These are using primary partitions. Now, this one here is blue. This, require, this indicates it's logical. That means the only thing I can do to this one is store data. That's it. I can't boot from the drive. What it does, if it's primary, it creates a master boot record where it stores the information. But this one here does not. Now, you'll also notice that some of the drives, like this one here, has multiple partitions. This one here has two. Now, some partitions you may not see, and this is because the manufacturer has hidden it and if there is, this program will identify it. Now, uh, you got other uh, newsletter that you can get. Uh, this is, you can sign up for the newsletters. You can also uh, upgrade, like if you want to upgrade to their 
of uh, professional version and so on and you can upgrade uh, they also have uh, tutorials which goes to their websites and you can look at other tutorials that they show close the tabs uh, it's even got a reload function so if anything changes like if you unplug a hard drive or you know whatever the case may be now this works on USB drives too uh, you can do the same thing to them it works on any hard drive and any solid state drive whether it's connected by the internal or external uh, connections uh, now anytime you want to do something like let's say we're gonna create a partition for this uh, partition here for this section uh, we'll just go ahead and click OK now if you look down here at the bottom left you'll notice pending operations uh, nothing is done until you click apply here you have what it's going to look like when the process is finished this is what it's going to look like now to continue you can have a whole list of procedures or operations that you want to do and then once you're ready all you have to do is click apply look over the operations it will list all the operations it will perform down at the bottom it will tell you approximately how long it will take to perform and then just click proceed and then confirm that you want to start and there you go. You just sit back and wait for it to do its operations. Now, once it's complete, you just uh, click OK, and there you go. Now, because things were changed, now it wants you to reload the information. And you just choose Yes. And there you go. Now you have your drive in a new partition. So anytime you do perform, be sure that you've got all the operations you're wanting to perform and then choose apply at the top left hand corner. Now you also have the system which you can reload disks, uh, apply changes, undo changes, and redo changes, or you can discard the changes that you wanted to do. But have it applied yet. Uh, for disk features, you can copy the disk. Uh, initialize disk. If you buy a brand new disk and you plug it in but it won't show up, don't worry about it. It's not because the drive is defective. It's because the drive has not been initialized. This will allow you to initialize a drive for use. And then once the drive is initialized, then you can go ahead and set the drive up. Uh, you can wipe the hard drive. You can do a surface test to check to see if there's any uh, actual bad sectors on the drive. Uh, you can choose properties. You can check properties for a drive. Uh, you got a partition where you can you can resize a partition. Uh, you can merge partitions together. Uh, you can move a partition from one place to another. You can rearrange them. Uh, you can split a partition to where you can just take a piece of the current partition and divide it. Uh, you can allocate free space from one partition to another. Uh, you can copy, create, delete partitions. You can format the partition, partition to whatever you want. Uh, you can even label the partition uh, you can wipe out the partition or, you know, just erase it. Uh, you can also change the drive letter to a partition. You can hide the partition from the operating system, which you may have noticed that some uh, manufacturers who build PCs, uh, they do have uh, recovery software on the computer, but it won't show up in the operating system because the partition's hidden. And that's just to prevent uh, you and me and everyone else who's uh, from accidentally deleting a partition. Whoops. Then you can go back 
and recover the partition. Uh, you can even check the uh, stability of the partition to see if it's, uh, if it's stable. Uh, like right here, where I got it highlighted, is a partition recovery wizard. <laughs> now this would come in handy if you accidentally deleted a partition by mistake. This will help recover that partition. Uh, it's got a make bootable CD. Now this comes in handy if your computer will not boot, especially if you have uh, an error message that shows up saying that the MBR is missing or corrupted. I'm sure uh, many of you have come across that. Uh, this will allow the computer to be booted up and it will run its software to help correct the problem to the drive. And I will show you all these functions in separate videos because there's, like, a, as you can see, there's a lot that it, this software can do, and I'm not going to be able to do all of this in one video. Uh, you also have set, uh, settings to where you can change languages. Uh, these are the current languages that I, uh, the software currently provides. Uh, it does provide English. It does provide Chinese Simplified. Uh, it provides German, French, Japanese, Spanish, and Italian. So these are the languages that you can choose to operate the, uh, uh, the software. Uh, it does have a help. Uh, you can tell your friends about it. You can go to online tutorials. Uh, it, it'll give you information about the software as to who made it. Uh, there are other websites called disk-partition.com, which is the same thing as I just showed you earlier. Uh, it's also got uh, help files that will help cover everything that you have on here. It does give you uh, instructions for each function, like resizing and moving a partition. It walks through here, tells you exactly what to do and how to do it. And it will also tell you some notes that you need to keep in mind as to what uh, things that you may run into and things that you may not want to do. Uh, Anything that you do, it shows you, you know, the steps of what to do, and it also gives you a note. Uh, you can do disk operations. It shows you how to do all the uh, steps, which I will be showing you how to do. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. So, I'll do the videos, and you also have technical support if you need any help whatsoever. Shows you where to go. And that's basically it. I mean, as you can see, this software does have a lot to offer. And a lot of this stuff, you'll see separate software for it, like Migraine the OS. I showed you one software that did that. Um, disk copying, you know, uh, partition recovery. There's a lot of software, functions on this software that will come in handy. Well, I am your host, Mr. Fixit. Stay tuned for our more videos. I will show you how to do all the functions on the software. Uh, go to extend-partition.com and download your free software. And I will show you later as to how, every, how to use everything. I've been your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.